My name is Moctezuma Esparza, and I was one of the student leaders when I was 18 years old of the student walkouts of East Los Angeles in March of 1968. I was born and raised in Boyle Heights, which is a neighborhood near downtown Los Angeles. I went to Lincoln High School, and it was a time in the mid-60s when the free speech movement was flourishing, when protest against the Vietnam War was flourishing. The civil rights struggle of African Americans was getting a lot of attention. A group of young Chicano students, we were 10th graders, 11th graders, formed an organization called Young Citizens for Community Action. And we would get together on weekends and we would talk about what was wrong. What was wrong in our schools? What was wrong in our lives, in our community? Why was it that our teachers were not encouraging us to go to college? You know, we had plenty of shop classes at Lincoln, but almost no, no honors classes. We were being trained to be laborers. The schools were like prisons. We couldn't use the restrooms. We were punished, we were spanked for speaking Spanish. And all of the students were unhappy about that. We talked about what could we do to make a difference. All right, we need to take a lesson from what's going on in the rest of the world. The plan was, we walk out. It took us six months to organize the walkouts. We, together, planned how to do it so that all the students from all five high schools would walk out together. We published a newspaper called Chicano Student News and another newspaper called La Raza. And we distributed them all over East Los Angeles. But mostly, we talked to the kids. And the comparisons that we showed them of how other kids got treated, how what other schools looked like in affluent parts of Los Angeles, and how that was a contradiction to the Bill of Rights, that there's equal treatment under the law. And then they would go talk to their friends. And this was our way to spread the word. So it was time. I walked right onto the campus, and I walked inside the school building. And I started yelling, walk out, walk out. And we were worried because we didn't know if the students were gonna follow because they didn't get up and walk out right away. You know, it seemed like an eternity. 30 seconds went by, 40 seconds went by, and then they started to get up. And then they started to stream. And then it was a river of students storming out of the doors and picking up the signs that we had prepared for them and marching up and down the street, yelling, Brown is beautiful. Fairness and freedom for all. 20,000 high school students walked out and shut down LA USD, Los Angeles Unified School District, for almost two weeks. Massive marches and presentation of our demands were made. We knew that what we were doing could be dangerous. And in fact, the second day of the walkouts, instead of honoring our right to protest, instead of honoring the Bill of Rights, freedom of speech, freedom to assemble, and the police came and beat us up and arrested kids and sent kids to the hospital. And so we went to our parents and we went to the clergy and we asked them to march with us. And then the police stopped and we got the attention of the school district. And then they agreed to go to our campus, our community, and listen to our grievances. And the world changed. There is now a professional class of doctors and lawyers, entrepreneurs, engineers, who were able to achieve that in their lives because of what students did in March of 1968, which was to risk their lives, to stand up for their rights. The walkouts let us know that we had power, that the Civil Rights, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution was ours as well, that the promise of the United States was a promise to everybody. And it changed me. It made me a lifelong activist. Protest is how the United States was born. We've all were taught that the Boston Tea Party was a protest. 
To be American is to stand up for your rights.